we're going to continue to build families of similar triangles that we have lots of information about. One of those we talked about for a few seconds in class today. And that's the 45, 45, 90. And that can be marked several different ways, but you need to know there's a 90 degree angle in it. And you need to know that there's either two congruent angles uh, or two 45 degree angles. So you'll be looking for this kind of data when you're presented with a triangle. And really, no matter what value I give either of the two congruent legs, their ratio to the longer hypotenuse will always be the same. And that ratio hypotenuse to leg for a 45, 45, 90 will always be a factor of the square root of 2. And that is proven by the Pythagorean theorem where x is the length of one leg and x is the length of another, or y, or any variable you choose. I'm going to continue to use x in this proof. I can add two x squareds together. And at this step, where I get the square root of c squared and the square root of 2x squared, you'll need to apply what you know about simplifying radicals. c squared's square root is c. I can break this radical apart, where I can simplify just one. So C then will always be a leg multiplied by the square root of two. It's a very reliable ratio. Same is true for the half equilateral, where I have a 90, a 30, and a 60. We know that one leg will always be half of the hypotenuse. So then what about B? The Pythagorean theorem proves to us that this really reliable ratio Ooh, what have I done? What kind of crazy is this? x squared then plus b squared, because this is a leg, equals c squared. This is where my 2x squared goes. So x squared plus b squared equals 4x squared. b squared, I'm subtracting x from both sides. b then equals the square root of 3x squared, which equals the square root of 3 times the square root of x squared, which can be simplified. So I have x square root 3 in the position for b always. So it's always the shorter leg multiplied by the square root of 3. These, reliable, these ratios can be trusted and relied upon to work every time. So just like uh, you write out sine theta equals opposite over adjacent and cosine theta. Oh, sorry, hypotenuse goes here. Good catch. And cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. You can now write out what you know about these special right triangles. And we give them the term special. So you'll hear special rights referred to. That's the 45, 45, 90, where x, x, and x radical 2 always exist. And you can use these as models. Here's the 60, 30, 90. Watch your labels on these. They won't always be oriented or drawn to scale. x, 2x, x square root 3. These models help you solve problems quickly, which you'll be asked to do in 
in the team task, the substation team task, and in life. So here, if I'm given this much information, I can immediately fill in the second leg and the hypotenuse using what I know about this special right situation. And this was from example 5-49. I'm also given this example in 5-49 where I'm told I have a right angle and a 45 degree angle. So even though it doesn't look quite drawn to scale, I have enough information to say, well, that other leg must be 5, and that hypotenuse must be 5 times the square root of 2. Often when using special rights, we leave our answer in exact simplified radical form. And you can work your way around triangles in any number of ways. I'd rather this were blue for this example. Let's try a 30, 60, 90. Where we know one side length. We can make our way around the rest of the triangle. We know this is a half equilateral. And we know that the longer leg is different from the shorter leg by a factor of square root 3. I'm going to practice 5-52 with you, and then you'll do some more exercises in tonight's homework. Hey, Carson. You're being recorded for tonight's video. So for example, you're being recorded right now. So your voice will be in tonight's video. So for example, 5-52, you've got a 45, 90, and you've got square root 2 here on one of the legs. Well, that's an interesting one because the other leg will be square root 2, and the hypotenuse will be square root 2 times square root 2, which is square root 4, which is 2. So you work your way around triangles with what you know about these really reliable ratios. Here's a 60 and a 90, therefore you know this 30 here, and you've got a hypotenuse of 10. So my short leg, that's across from the 30, has to be 5. My longer leg is different from the short leg by a factor of radical 3. So try some more of those tonight, and we'll keep practicing.